Over the years, we've come to see just how devastating floodwaters can be in North Dakota. Whether it was the massive flood in 2011 along the Mouse River, or just this spring when dozens of homes near the Yellowstone River took on water. Well, in this week's Someone You Should Know, we meet the man who plays a crucial role in keeping us all informed when the water begins to rise. The way Alan Schlag sees it, the less you hear from him, the better. I'm a person that after a year like 2010, 2011, I, I really quickly try to find my anonymity again. <laughs> He's a hydrologist for the National Weather Service, and for most of the year, you don't hear much from him. But when North Dakota's rivers and creeks threaten to flow out of their banks, Alan Schlag springs into action. Half the time I tell people when they ask what I do, I say I'm in communication because we spend so much time uh, explaining to people what we think we're seeing out in the nature. He helps make the call when it's time to issue flood watches and warnings. And he helps the Weather Service craft their river level forecasts, those line graphs we spend a lot of time looking at in the spring. I always have to ensure that we're seeing the correct data. Much of that work can be done at a desk, but sometimes it calls for a field trip. Here he is at the Apple Creek River Gauge near Minokin. There's a wire weight. As it touches the water surface, there it is, about 10.8 feet. Alan says spending his days thinking about water just makes sense. Yeah, if it's not a hobby for me, it's, it's more of a, an obsession, I would say, at times. Because as a kid, I could literally sit alongside a stream and just watch the water run for hours at a time. Didn't even have to be fishing. I'd prefer to be fishing, but I could just sit and watch the water run. And while it sometimes means long hours and bad news for homeowners on the water, he says each day is a chance to further a noble mission. It's to protect life and property. Alan Schlag, an expert on North Dakota waters, is someone you should know. Alan, by the way, specializes in the lack of water as well. He contributes to the U.S. Drought Monitor for North Dakota. And we know that's starting to get a little busy. Some mm -hmm. parts of the state already reporting near drought conditions. Yeah.